Hello, this is Stanford Longnose and welcome back to another day inside Crim City. As you can see, I'm just about uh, to go to bed with Crimson as off. And uh, yeah, in this commentary, I'm going to be showing you my house, my finished tree house, and then we're going to go and build a tunnel, uh, which is going to link this house to the uh, main house. So as you can see here, <laughs> I'm here with Crimson as off, who's decided to dress up festively for Halloween, even though it's slightly out of season. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is my finished tree house. This is my bedroom. I chose this as my bedroom because it's got the best view uh, seen uh, to the main house there. I've got a music box. And uh, if you don't know, the music box uh, is dependent. The sound it makes, the instrument, is dependent on what it's placed on. Uh, so because it's placed on wood, it makes this weird sound. Got a couple bedside tables, lamps, a nice little picture and uh, a little window to the side there. Nice trap door to open it. This is the main room, which <laughs> is basically a big empty room, but you can see uh, the big tree in the middle, which is quite cool. The trapdoor, which half works, half doesn't work. It's sometimes a bit awkward getting up. This is the main room where all the crafting and stuff goes on. Here's my chest full of all my crap. My collection of crap has uh, grown significant, uh, significantly since the last time. A couple crafting tables and a furnace and some stuff. And yeah, you see a sign here to Stampy's bedroom to the roof just in case you got confused. And this is this is the view that you get from Stampy's treehouse. You see I built kind of a little glass rectangle dome thing here, uh, basically just to make sure this is all counted as being inside. And uh, it looks quite cool. And I've also planted a tree out of you. If you just place some dirt and you put a, a shrubbery on it, uh, whatever shrubbery, whatever it's called, um, yeah, you, you can build a tree going out of it. So I kind of wanted it to look like this is just built in the middle of a mass of trees And I think having a tree growing at the top of it helps that and yeah, you can see a few more torches and a very nice view So this is this is basically what I've changed to my tree house since the last video uh, I've got a fence going all around the outside and there's also a Awesome escape route that you can do because I found that because none of the enemies can get up here they all kind of just congregate at the bottom uh, of this ladder so often in the morning I'm halfway through <laughs> down the ladder and I see like a row of like creepers trying to get up so there is a pretty awesome escape route you can do which Crimson's going to demonstrate <laughs> I've just decided <laughs> it's dangerous <laughs> this is alright I'll do it uh, the, the, the uh, second escape route yeah, so if there's a bunch of creepers, you can kind of jump up here and you've got to kind of shimmy your way down these trees. You do hurt yourself a bit there and then try and land into the water. <laughs> can't remember which way you're supposed to go. Yeah, just go down this way. Then you land in the water. Ow! And then you die. <laughs> that's exactly what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Whoops, that, uh, that's not meant to happen. <laughs> Believe me, it does have my work. <laughs> Yeah, I need to go find my crap. <laughs> Do you know where it is? I can't even remember where I landed. Right now, I'll show you the progress we made on the tunnel. Basically, we're making a tunnel uh, to put a track in to link the main house to my house. And we've built the main part of the track. We just need to uh, build the actual cart. Yeah, we built a tunnel. We need to just place the track in. Once I've collected all my crap up anyway. Right, let's go. You lead the way. <laughs> okay. He just said he might get lost, so I guess I'll lead the way. Right, this is the entrance. So this is going to be where you come out from. This is where the track will end. So it will come down here. <laughs> is that a cow? There's <laughs> just a random cow bobbing around. He's just stuck in the current of the water. Ah, poor Moo Moo. It's a very convenient time for him to moo, as I called him moo moo. So you can see this is this is a glass roof, and that is uh, water literally on top of us. You can see a bit of it there. And this was very dangerous to build. Like every few blocks we built, the sand would just collapse and would spring a link, uh, spring a leak. We'd have to try and quickly plug it in. <laughs> we also had a danger of a few creepers spawning down here. We had to kind of lure them out before they blew up and ruined all our hard work. And then this is where it leads you to, and we're going to build a big fancy archway or something here uh, to go down. Yeah, let's let's get let's get building on the track then. 
So I guess we'll we'll start it from up here. Have you do you want some track pieces, Craig? Have you got any? <laughs> actually, I've hardly got any left. Oh well. <laughs> just give me a few back. <laughs> oh, if you want, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll start building them from a, a little bit further in. I keep pressing the wrong button when I go to crouch. I'm used to Halo controls. We also need a, a speed boost at some point. Do we, would we need one a bit earlier on? Do you reckon? Yeah. If you don't know, for building tracks, you also need to place a uh, like a power rail, which kind of propels you further forward. And I've never done this before, so. <laughs> I might do this wrong. Apparently, you need about one power rail for every 16 like standard rails, but I want this one to go kind of slowly, uh, simply because um, I want I want you to have time to see the fact that you're underwater and that I don't want it, like, because it's quite a short track and that I don't want uh, you to completely rush by. And I've run out of tracks. Do you reckon we're gonna have enough, or do I need to go make some more? You used to <laughs> okay, we're gonna get some more. But there's also gonna be this, uh, this side you can walk as well and I'm going to put some steps up here so you can uh, still make your way out <laughs> yeah I kind of underestimate the amount of track we'd need now, if you don't know to make to make the, uh, the, the power rail tracks you need uh, to use redstone as well Sixty or something, hundred seventy. You got twenty. Do you want some more? Do you want some of mine? <laughs> oh, wrong thing. Well, you can take some of them anyway. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, that's good thinking actually. Yeah, so we're just going to build all the track in as track, and then. At some points, we can change it to a power rail if we need to. I'm scared to destroy any in case it destroys them completely rather than remaking them. I'm just walking behind you, watching you work. It's very easy. <laughs> I've overtaken you now. Oh, we need to need to do it going up here as well. Yeah, and it, it, to make it go up the slanted bits, you kind of just have to do one on each block, and it kind of makes a slope itself. One of the awkward things uh, with everything being out, mate made out of blocks is it's very hard to get sloping things. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll let you build this end bit if you want. I don't know how it works with buttons and stuff. I do not have a crafting table. Was that that you need? Is it just like normal stone you need? Or is it iron? Tell you what, while, while you do that, you do the mechanic, the mechanisms, I'm gonna go make some stairs for that other bit. I can make the simple things like wooden stairs and stuff. <laughs> and I, well, how'd you get up here so quick? I love my treehouse. <laughs> I don't need anything fancy. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> oh, 
I'm also gonna I'm gonna still build a uh, pier just uh, near the end as well. So there's an option to ride a boat if you're a sailor. <laughs> One annoying thing about it is the fact that all of the walls are kind of different colours and stuff, but it'd be so awkward trying to fill it all in, make it all the same. Uh, I don't have a minecart. That might be... <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, I'm also banging my head. Was that a getting darker I saw? I might go have a quick nap. I don't like you not being dressed like a pumpkin, by the way. <laughs> scary just suddenly turning around and seeing you looking like that. Alright, let's, let's just go have a quick nap then, shall we? I struggle with ladders. <laughs> we could be a pro by now. Hey, do you remember the time you climbed up the ladder and I punched you and killed you? That could happen again. Well, let's just... <laughs> I just love the sight of you lying in bed with that thing on. Good night, Craig. Ooh, I'm randomly holding gold as I wake up. Like dumps oh, I've got so much crap in my infantry. Yeah, we should probably make like a make a thingy dispenser. Like one at either end. Minecart dispenser. Kind of the, the way I'm building it is building everything to make it so it works first and then going over it to try and make it pretty. <laughs> it starts off uh, function over form and then I try and make it look nice in the end. I mean, in, in the end of the day, that's kind of what Minecraft's all about, just making things looking pretty. Like, I mean, you can make functional things like tracks and stuff, but it's normally just to look at things. <laughs> And you say, oh, well, doing things like mining and stuff is just to get materials, but all you're going to do with the materials is try and make things that look good. Oh, this isn't very good, is it? How are we looking, Craig? You ready for a test run? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing to the track, you madman? Have you got any redstone on you? Do we need to make um, some redstone torches? Right, looks like Crimson Azov has got things pretty much sorted. Are we ready for the first test ride? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and he's off! <laughs> right, let me let me make myself a car. I can't believe you stole the honours of the first ride. Yeah, how did we not make it? Okay. Well, he, he didn't make it anyway, so looks like we need some more power. You got any iron on you? I'm going to go steal some more iron, make some carts. I kind of went a bit crazy on the track building. You ready for my test run? So excited. <laughs> I'm like christening it. I feel like we should have like a like a ribbon to cut to open it or something. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Nope. <laughs> and he's off. <laughs> okay. Did I not make it? Oh no.
Can we put this hole was a air hole for when I was building the, the first bit of glass. That's so I could poke up. <laughs> you can't breathe underwater for very long. Here's my little chest full of boats. Start doing a little bit of work on the archway while I'm waiting. We're also trying to find a... Uh, to build as many things as we can that use cobblestone, basically, because when you're mining, you uh, collect so much of it and we haven't really pretty much everything we've built has been out of either glass or wood so this is a good excuse to build something out of cobblestone <laughs> I think we also might set the whole top of this area on fire as well just to make it look a little bit more dramatic are we, are we ready? are we ready? Oh, this is exciting 3, 2 <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm under the water Ow, I think I look like a smash into the wall. And I'm here at Stampy's treehouse. <laughs> oh, my, I've lost my track. My track's going back. My cart. Catch it. <laughs> does it does it get back all right? Uh. Work. <laughs> but what if, like, if, if if they're in it, will they make it back? Make it back. Right. I am on my way back. Then you're not going, are you? You're not going to. Oh, I, I hit the cart. <laughs> oh, there's a big pile up in the middle here. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> well, I'm I'm kind of proud of that. I think that worked pretty well. Karen doing a little bit of work on my archway. How do you set things on fire? Oh, you need to add flint and iron to make a tinder box. Let's do that. Let's get my pyromaniac side out. Uh, I always set on fire the entrance way. a bit lopsided at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's I got... This looks dangerous. Never rack. Burns forever if set alight. Oh dear. Are you sure this is safe? <laughs> he said no. The chicken likes it. <laughs> it just came to check it out. I had a look now. Now it's wandering off. <laughs> Into the water. I love when you turn around and just see animals floating there. Alright, you, you going for it? Oh, already, already have. I'm going to go build something on the other side as well. It's just an excuse to ride in my cart again. See y'all. No, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a cart going your way. I think I might try and disguise this side, make it... This is a more natural area, so I think I might go and try and build 
like put some dirt around and just some wooden stuff and make it look like there's nothing mischievous going on here. Nothing man-made. Yeah, I'll do. Don't think I've got any more shrubberies or anything, whatever they're called. some saplings down to make some more trees grow because I don't feel like I've got enough trees in this area already. I don't know if they will grow here. It's getting a bit crowded. Right, I think I'm going to end this video now. I hope you enjoyed a look at the, the building and opening of Stampy's first official railway service <laughs> and the quick look around my treehouse. I'll have a link in the description once I've finished the next video and I've uploaded it. Uh, but that's the end of this video, cheers for watching and I will see you later.